The ideas of the Age of Enlightenment in Poland were developed later than in Western Europe, as the Polish bourgeoisie was weaker, and Szalokta nobility culture Sarmatism together with the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth political system Golden Liberty were in deep crisis. The period of Polish Enlightenment began in the 1730s to 40s, peaked in the reign of Poland's last king, Stanisław August Poniatowski second half of the 18th century, went into decline with the Third Partition of Poland 1795, a national tragedy inspiring a short period of sentimental writing, and ended in 1822, replaced by Romanticism. History Polish Enlightenment, while sharing many common qualities with the classical Enlightenment movements of Western Europe, also differed from them in many important aspects. Much of the thought of the Western Enlightenment evolved under the oppressive absolute monarchies and was dedicated towards fighting for more freedom. Western thinkers desired Montesquieu's separation and balance of powers to restrict the nearly unlimited power of their monarchs. Polish Enlightenment, however, developed in a very different background. The Polish political system was almost the opposite of the absolute monarchy. Polish kings were elected and their position was very weak, with most of the powers in the hands of the parliament same. Polish reforms desired the elimination of laws that transformed their system into a near anarchy, resulting from abuse of consensus voting in same liberum veto that paralyzed the Commonwealth, especially during the times of the Wettin dynasty, reducing Poland from a major European player to the puppet of its neighbors. Thus, while men of the Enlightenment in France and Prussia wrote about the need for more checks and balances on their kings, Polish Enlightenment was geared towards fighting the abuses stemming from too many checks and balances. The differences did not end there. Townsfolk and bourgeoisie dominated Western Enlightenment movement, while in the Commonwealth most of the reformers came from Szalokta nobility. Commonwealth Szalokta forming the 10% of its population considered the idea of equality to be one of the foundations of its culture, and reformers fought to expand it towards other social classes. Religious tolerance, was an ideal of the Szalokta. <laughs> Constitution of 1791 Ideas of that period led eventually to one of the greatest achievements of Poland, the Constitution of May 3, 1791, second oldest world constitution, and other reforms like the creation of the Commission of National Education, first ministry of education in the world, which attempted to transform the Commonwealth into a modern constitutional monarchy. Although attempts of political reform were thwarted by the Civil War Confederation and military intervention of the Commonwealth neighbor, ending in the partitions of Poland, the cultural impact of that period persevered Polish culture for many years. The ideas of the Polish Enlightenment had also significant impact abroad. From the Bar Confederation 1768 through the period of the Great Sejm and until the aftermath of the Constitution of May 3, 1791, Poland experienced a large output of political, particularly constitutional, writing. Important institutions of the Enlightenment included the National Theatre founded in 1765 in Warsaw by King Stanislaw August Poniatowski, and in the field of advanced learning, the Commission of National Education established by the same in 1773, the Society for Elementary Books, as well as the Corps of Cadets Knights Military School, among others. In expanding the field of knowledge, there was the Society of Friends of Science set up in 1800 soon after the partitions. Popular newspapers included Monitor and Zabowy Prigemna i Positexni Games Pleasant and Useful. <laughs> Notable persons Wojciech Bogosławski, father of Polish theatre Franciszek Bohomolek, poet, writer, publisher, teacher Tadosz Chatsky, education, economy, founder of Toazistu Prijaciel na UK and Lyceum Kremeniki Wikim Kreptovich, last Grand Chancellor of the Lithuania, journalist, poet, translator, and physiocrat 
Jakub Jasinski, poet, general, radical supporter of revolution Franciszek Silesi Jezierski, writer, political activist Franciszek Karpinski, poet Franciszek Nyaznan, Franciszek Dionysi Nyaznan, poet, writer Hugo Colletage, priest, social and political activist, political thinker, historian and philosopher Stanislaw Konarski, precursor of education reform, author of O Skutecznym Rad Sposobi Onufri Kopczynski, teacher, precursor of Polish grammar Mitchell Dimitar Krajewski, writer, educational activist Ignacy Krasicki, one of Poland's greatest poets, writer, bishop, co-organizer of Thursday dinners Stanislaw Leszczynski, King of Poland, political activist, writer Gloss Wolny Samuel Bogumel Lind, chairman of Toazistu du Sieg Elementnich, creator of Slonik Jezika Polskiego Adam Narusiewicz, poet, translator, historian Julian Ursin Nemchevich, poet, playwright, independence activist Jan Piotr Norblin, painter Joseph Maximilian Ossolinski, writer, social, science and cultural activist, founder of Zaklid Narodowy im. Ossolinskich Gregorz Paramovich, writer, philosopher, educational activist Stanislaw August Poniatowski, King, co-organizer of Thursday's dinners, great supporter of arts and sciences in Poland Stanislaw Staszek, writer, economist Jan Sniadetsky, astronomer, mathematician, philosopher Jedrzej Sniadetsky, chemist Stanislaw Trembeki, poet classicism style. Thomas Kajetan Wejirshi, poet, explorer Joseph Wybitsky, political activist, author of the words of Mazurek Dabrowskiego, Polish national anthem Franciszek Zabloki, poet, comedy writer, secretary of Toazistu du Sieg Elementnich Andrzej and Joseph Zaluski, founders of First Polish Public Library, Biblioteka Zaluskic Andrzej Zamoyski, Kanklets, politician, author of the Zamoyski Code Topic. Architecture The center of the neoclassical architecture in Poland was Warsaw under the reign of Stanislaw August Poniatowski. Classicism came to Poland in the 18th century. The best known architects and artists, who worked in Poland were Dominik Merlini, Jan Christian Kamsetza, Simon Bogumel Zug, Stanislaw Zawijki, Efrem S. Z. Rager, Antonio Karatsi, Jakub Kubicki, Christian Piotr Ainer, Warszyniek Guczewicz and Bertel Thorvaldsen. The first stage, called the Stanislavian style, followed by an almost complete inhibition and a period known as the Congress Kingdom Classicism. The most famous buildings of the Stanislavian period include the Royal Castle in Warsaw, rebuilt by Dominik Merlini and Jan Christian Kamsetzer, Palace on the Water, Krolikania and the Palace in Jablona. From the period of the Congress Kingdom are Konispolski Palace and the St. Alexander's Church in Warsaw, the Temple of the Sibyl in Pulowy, rebuilding the Lankert Castle. The leading figure in the Congress Kingdom was Antony Karatsi. Karatsi has created a complex of Bank Square in Warsaw, the edifices of the Treasury, Revenue and the Commission of Government, the building of the Stasik Palace, Mostovsky Palace and designed the Grand Theatre. See also History of philosophy in Poland Topic Notes Topic Further reading Butterwick, Richard. What is Enlightenment? Oswe Sini. Some Polish Answers, 1765 to 1820. Central Europe, May 2005, Volume 3, Issue 1, pp. 19 to 37. Online. Fizman, Samuel, Jan Kochanowski, 1988. 
The Polish Renaissance in its European Context. Indiana UP. Janowski, Maciej Polish Liberal Thought Before 1918. Central European University Press. Suchardalski, Bogdan 1986. A History of Polish Culture. Interpress Publishers. Stanley, John. Towards a New Nation, The Enlightenment and National Revival in Poland. Canadian Review of Studies in Nationalism, 1983, Vol. 10 Issue 2, pp. 83–110.